for beginners, I'm trying to provide a theory for how um, how pins work and and how spool pins work. I don't want to go too deep into it. Like there's sets of pins like this all along down here, and the, the very there's a variation in the size of the bottom pin. I'm just going to run through this really quick, which um, means that um, it fits exactly on these cuts on a key, so that it pushes up the pins so that the, um, the, the where the two pins join goes um, exact sits on a shear line, which is the this continuation of this circular plug. So when, when you put the key in and put them all up to the exact height on the shear line where they join, and the plug can turn lock unlocks. So um, for um, um, just quickly go, I'm trying to explain spool pins here, but I'll just quickly for when you're doing a basic lock with no spool pins, do you, you put tension on, and it makes a tiny little lip just here. And when, when you push it up, you can push it up too far, like this, and the spring, which is up here, will push, the, push them back down, except for the top pin, we get caught on that little lip, and then this, will, this pin here can float around in, from gravity, whichever way it's pulling it. And once you do that to all the locks, or all the pins, sorry, then the plug will turn, and voila, lock, lock is open. Um, so, the next thing is um, security pins, uh, 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 pick-resistant pins, make it harder to pick. One such as this. So, um, mm, I don't think no um, locks ha ever have or made up entirely of spool pins. Normally, have a combination of normal pins and spool pins. So, once you um, once you pick all the normal pins, like I just shown, you'll get um, what's called a false set. So, you put, push up um, to pick the last normal pin, and then you go bam, and your plug will turn just a little bit to the side, which I'll show you later in a practical. And what's happening there is this bull pin, because it's got that concave in it, it um, allows it to turn a certain way, but it's still, it's, it's still um, blocking it. So the way to pick these is to, um, you've got to find the spool pin, and once you apply, you apply pressure on the pin, as you take tension off the wrench, which allows the keyhole to turn back the other way, and then you'll eventually you'll get, you'll push the spool pin back up, and then you'll be, it'll go back to a false set, if it's a large pin, then it'll go all the way, and you'll have picked the lock. It'll go back to a false set if there's more than one spool pin. Now, so um, if, however, now if, just just so you got a better idea, if, however, you you go up and push up on a, a pin and it's stiff as because everything goes pretty stiff once you get a false set, false set, and you take tension off the wrench and nothing happens, it's because it's just a normal pin that's already been picked. So just leave that one and find one that gives you reaction back on your tension wrench. So when you push it up and take tension off, it should follow your finger and then you get it like that. So hopefully that, that made it clear of how spool pins work. Now there's just one other type of um, pick resistant pin. It's a um, serrated pin. What all that means is that before when I showed you how I said you could push them up, push the um, second pin up too far, it just it just means that it'll just get pushed down later and this will get caught this uh, top pin will get caught on the lip. With the serrated, it means that the bottom pin gets caught on the lip too, and the only way to redeem yourself is to take tension off the wrench so that it can reset itself and these get pushed back down into the bottom. So that's, that there's a theory, and um, hopefully hopefully that's all I understand. Um, please comment, comment if I've made any mistakes from all you pros out there, or anything that needs improving, and rate my video please as well. So um, I'll be picking this lock, I'll, I'll show you in a sec. but. I just um, want to take make note that these um, pins I make out of actual blade are made out of very tough carbon steel, which means when they come up against the brass pins inside, they do actually damage the pins slightly, like only a little bit. But if you do it enough times, it will screw it up. So this lock, um, the key does still work, but not every time. Work that time, but sometimes, like it, it does get a bit jammed sometimes. Just, but it is working. It's a working lock just a little bit jammed so, from picking too much. So, on to my practical. Those two and back tension wrench. So, um, tension wrench in here. For some reason you're very new and don't know how to do this. So, first part I'm just going to try and be getting a false set. So, I just poke around. Especially hitting up the right picks. It's a bit. I don't. Like, don't really take that much skill. If I, I could use a rake, but don't have a good one at the moment. So um, 
if I don't get it after a while, sometimes I'll start again, which I just got it in. You can see that the plug is slightly turned. It's it's pretty subtle. It's, it might be a bit more obvious on other locks, but this one's pretty subtle. And it's, sometimes I'm not sure if I got it or not, but I felt a click on the tension wrench went down a little bit further. So now I'm going to um, continue to go and try and um, pick the rest of the spool pins now. Hopefully I don't put it out of the camera, but I've got to try and pay attention to see when I try and take um, tension off the wrench to allow spool pins go up. So I'll just make sure that... Oh, I don't think... Oh, it's not even zoomed out. There we go. There we go, it's got it. Check, it's open. So, um, that there is a um, Lockwood 110-40 just picked for you. So, I'll show you that again. Just let the plug turn slightly like back. So, there we go, turning tension wrench, click. There goes shackle <laughs> one more time. So, there we go. Now, this is my first instructional video, so I'd um, appreciate criticism, and I hope this helped you.